So, the chapter 6 of your textbook talks about simple harmonic motion involving masses and springs. And I wanted to make this short video to show you what that simple harmonic motion looks like so that you will have a mental image of it as you are answer, trying to answer those questions involving potential energies and kinetic energies. Because I think it's important for you to, um, well, have a physical picture in mind. Physics isn't about just the formulas and it, it's more about understanding a physical situation. So this is a simulated uh, motion of masses and springs. You can find the simulation at FET, P -H -E -T, dot Colorado dot edu. Um, um, you can, oops, you can uh, go to this, uh, look for the simulation masses and springs. So this is the setup. Um, I can hang a mass here. Let me hang a hundred gram mass here because the, there's gravity, it's gonna pull the spring down. So let me move this to the new equilibrium position of the mass. Now, when I pull this mass down further, it moves back and forth. This is what we refer to as a simple harmonic motion. Now, because of friction, it eventually stops. So let me take the advantage of the simulation and get rid of friction. So now when I make it move, it'll never stop. It'll keep going back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. And in fact, let me slow down time a little bit so that you can see how this motion changes at different points. So the mass goes as far down as down here, as far up as up here, or uh, let me track the, uh, the, this mark. So it goes down and up, and you can see that at the end, that's where it's the slowest, and in the middle where the dotted line is, is equilibrium point, that's where it's the fastest. And in fact, I can show the energy of this spring, and this is what it shows. At the very far end, you can see that the potential energy is at maximum, or the total potential energy is at maximum. And in the middle, uh, watch as the, um, this hits the mark here, you will see the kinetic energy, light green, is at maximum there. But you can see that throughout this entire motion, the total energy remains the same. <coughs> That's uh, what we refer to as conservation of energy. So this is the system where we can illustrate conservation of energy, and it's a good example. And let me show you one interesting feature of this. So you see how quickly this is moving. Uh, let me just count off a couple seconds, well, how long it takes for this mass to go up and down. Ready, set. 1,001, 1,002, 1,000, um, maybe two and a little bit more seconds. Now, suppose I make this mass um, move longer distance, so I stretch it out farther. How do you think that period of motion will change? Well, let's try it and see. It does have more energy. You can see that there. So it moves up and down. You can see that it does move faster. You can see that in greater kinetic energy here. Let's try counting of how quickly it's moving. Ready, set, thousand one, thousand two, thousand two seconds and a little more. Looks like it takes about the same amount of time as before. So what you are seeing is that with this simple harmonic motion, the period of the motion did not change as I make this move longer distance. Let me increase the friction and stop it from moving. It's too annoying. Um, uh, this is describing that energy is still conserved. The mechanical energy is when it's going to thermal energy. Anyways, so um, with a simple harmonic motion, what you saw was that wh whether it moves a, a shorter distance or longer distance, uh, we describe that with the amplitude, whether amplitude is small or whether amplitude is large, the period remains the same. In fact, that's the simple part of simple harmonic motion. So this is the example of simple harmonic motion. Please watch out for the video that'll go over the remainder of the exercises, but I want you to make this short video so that you have something in your mind as a mental image as you try to answer questions regarding simple harmonic motion.